We're at an install in Trelliston. <laughs> Stu's just finished off the roof. They've done a good job on this one. It's um, eight really tricky panels. And what I want to talk about in this is the bird protection system that we're using on all our installs at the moment. So every job we do, we're including bird protection as standard on the installation. And I'm just going to spin the camera around and show you what's what with that, how it goes on, what it looks like when it's in, and also why we're including that on all our systems. So here's Stu putting the last few finishing touches in on the bird protection system. And as you can see up here, you can barely see that it's in place. It's a really nice, discreet looking mesh system. Um, and when you zoom in a little closer, you can see that um, it just runs down from the edges of the panels, but you can barely see it from the ground. Now, when you are up, and, up close and personal with it on the roof like this, you're gonna be able to see that there's a bird protection system in place. But overall, generally, it's, uh, it's very difficult to see from the ground. It's really discreet and it keeps the birds out. Now, as I said, we are fitting this on all our systems at the moment. And the reason being is we've had a few jobs where we've offered it to the customers as, a, as an upgrade. And we used to charge £400 a roof for a standard 10 panel system. And we've offered it as an upgrade. Then a few months later, they've been back in touch and they wanted to know if we can go back on the roof and do the do the bird protection after the fact now when we quote that and it's a return visit to site for two guys it's a scaffold or even a tower scaffold if it's a smaller roof it's still an expense um it's coming over a thousand pound i think we've quoted one at 1200 quid for a um, 10 panel system and it's just really expensive it's kind of a no-brainer to have it done with the install but people want to get the most bang for the buck i guess they don't really want to spend that extra money if they're not seeing any extra power and all the rest. So what we started doing was just trying to find a way to um, just fit it on every system. And what that means is the guys always know we need it on the van. They always know it's going to go on, on every roof. And on a system like this in the background, you wouldn't even know that it's been installed. So it's really great that you can get those panels up. You don't have to worry about birds or squirrels or anything like that getting underneath and you know that for the next however many years you've got this system up and you're living in this property you just don't have to worry job's done and um, it, it's all sorted for you so for the most part you might have you might have a system like this put in with no bird protection and never have any troubles and like mine at home as has been in a few years now we've not had a single problem but you also have that one year where the birds decide to nest and it can cause issues with the system. So having a mesh system like this, it really does make sense. So let's just have a closer look at what's gone in. Um, over here, you can see we've got a mesh system that goes around the edge of the panel. It stops anyone being able to get under, anyone, you're not gonna get a person under there, but it stops any animals being able to get under the panels. It's clipped on with metal clips, so they're not likely to you know, be a, a tie out that's just gonna uh, fall off and, um, cause problems it's a metal clip that holds it and secures it in place um, and this is a really great way of having a discreet way of keeping things out from underneath of your panels hopefully that covers everything um, if you like the look of this follow some of our other videos where we're talking about other installation methods the equipment we use and the various things that go in to a solar pv system such as this one particularly this system quite a tricky roof um, as you can see um, and there's lots that goes into jobs like this so follow along and you'll be able to learn all about solar pv and what goes into getting a system like this on your property